Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to create a fixed menu that sits always in the top right of your corner. So no matter where you scroll up and down in your website, it's always there. Why am I doing this? Because I have done it before in earlier videos, but it's the question that's been asked a few times. I've got a test page up here with some uh, text and buttons. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick icon. I'm just going to drop icon on into here, into this section. It doesn't really matter where you put it, just as long as it's on your page. I'm going to click the icon and I'm going to pick bar and I'm going to stylize this to be white. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, just something like that. Now, here's a really clever bit. OK, I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to background and I'm going to make the background of this match the color of whatever I want. I could go for the same gray color that I have here or I could go for something different. I'm going to go for the same gray color, which the color actually is if I remember correctly, 44444, four, 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 because I just did it at that time. I'm also going to go down to positioning and I'm going to set this to be custom. I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to give this a bit of padding. I'm going to give it about 10 from the top, 10 from the bottom, and we'll go for 10, 10. Mm, and this is where I have to play now. So I'm just going to go with about seven. The bottom is surprisingly bigger than it needs to be, doesn't it? There we go. When we go back to positioning, we then have an uh, option here for position, which is absolute or fixed. If we were to use absolute, okay, and I position this button now to be, say, over here, I just picked it up and moved it. When I move to another section, can you see the button has completely gone? It will stay there for that section. But I actually want it to be fixed for wherever you are on the website. Now, as soon as you do that, don't be surprised if it kind of completely disappears off the screen, okay? Let me just do zero, zero, zero like that because I messed around with it a bit. That is now fixed to the top right. You can mess around with it and position it to the left, right, top or bottom, but I quite like it there. So I'm going to hit update for a moment. Now watch what happens when I scroll down. It is always present in your top right. This is something you can use for social media icons, uh, menus, headers, text, buttons, um, uh, whatever you really want. Now let's get back onto activating a menu icon. Let's go back over to just scroll back up here to content. We have an icon. Normally you'd put a link in for a button, but we want this to activate a pop up. What you do is you click the dynamic tags and you scroll down until you have pop up and then you click the spanner or the wrench or whatever you want to call it. And then over here, you would then type in whatever was your pop up. So I've got some fake ones that I've done over here you would pick whichever one you want off canvas menu. Let's just go for that. So for now viewing the page, and it doesn't matter where you click up and down, okay, you click on this and you're gonna get this fake pop-up off canvas menu pop in, okay? And it's just a really, really cool way of just basically positioning items onto your page or, or menu activators for pop-ups anywhere you want, and they will be fixed in position no matter when you scroll up and down. Of course, don't just do that and move on. Make sure you check it out in the mobile view and be aware of whatever text you've got or however you're positioning your items on your screen. You do take into account that that is always going to be there as well. So maybe you might want it to be at the bottom of your page and you go to advanced, you go to positioning, you can have a different layout for the mobile as well. So I might say, actually, I want it to be uh, somewhere around here instead of the top or on the left hand side or the right. But it is up to you what you do and make it work for you. I hope that was easy to follow. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.